All right, welcome to this week's edition of the One Lane Road Podcast, which which is um, likely to be one of the most memorable and hopefully unedited, or, or not, or for Lucas not to have to yeah. edit. It can't be any worse than Justin Wells was. Yeah, man, Justin yeah. Wells had us up for three days like we was on a meth binge, I'm trying to get straight f bombs out. <laughs> so we, we got are a house full. Tonight. We are joined. My Mister, as I've been instru- instructed to <laughs> label him as uh, Mister Mike Demeza. I pronounced your name right. I'm not on the pressure of of a big stage. That is correct. <laughs> it is Mister <laughs> Mike Demeza. <laughs> Mike Demeza. We got the Mister right. You nailed it. And we're joined by your longtime life partner uh, and friend and confidant, best friend, the ever loving Studley Thad Johnson. Man, what an intro. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's better than what you got talked about last week. Wasn't it? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> can't, can't talk about the man here live and live in color. Yeah. I've seen him naked once. Thad Ooh. Johnson. Yeah, a lot of people have seen Thad Johnson naked. <laughs> yeah, it was I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have, you cool? Yeah. have you ever heard him fart? the question. <laughs> yeah, tonight I have. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> We're also joined by the vicious tag team duo that is Brothers Mackey. Not to be confused with Brothers Reigns. God, that um, beard is getting epic. I had no idea whenever I was talking to you that I was talking to one of the best beards in the Upper Cumberland. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, fantastic. <laughs> come here, and talk, come here, and talk on the microphone real quick. There's no sense in like taking thirty minutes. To do what's it. up, Dustin? Lucas. Hey, what's up, just, buddy? Just respond to the question and walk back off. That's what I'm trying to. Get <laughs> I, said, I said them boys ain't got a chance in that contest against me at Woolies in the, in the beard contest. He's got them. Got them locked down. So Clay, has Clay got anything that you don't though? Clay already shaved his beard, so Okay, so that's 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 <laughs> <laughs> So all right. So and uh then we got the the second Mackey brother. Who actually is older than you two? Okay, we well, are actually the first second first. Come over and talk on the microphone. First. Well equipped We're coming in here with a twenty four ounce and six pack of Mellie the Mellie always Yellow. always dangerous Melly Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> the bastard cousin the Mountain Dew. Yeah. Yes. Talking to the microphone. <laughs> no, I'm good. I, you're good. <laughs> how was uh? How was your night? Well, nice night. That you're drinking the Mountain Dews. It was uh, eventful. So stay at the Clarion Inn. At the Clarion Inn. <laughs> was there anybody out at the Clarion? It's not as fun. You and six other people. Inn. What you doing? <laughs> well, I'd say that, uh, one night at the Clarion Inn is it better than any night at the Fireside Lounge? Well. Bucket list material there, right? <laughs> you come home with a lot more stuff than uh than you would from the Clarion, that's for sure. Uh, very the first cousins do to that. Man, fireside, they, then they rent them out by the hour. The greatest. <laughs> Bad by, bugs guaranteed. By the know. quarter hour, from my personal experience. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I used to sing karaoke. I used to sing karaoke to Fireside Lounge uh, at the to the side of the Fireside Lounge where it's the wine on a motel. I'd give money to have a the, beside the wine on. I'd give money to have you sing karaoke and I will play it on here. Me and Marty Brown. Yeah, and I wish I just want everybody to take a minute and recognize that uh, DK played a Florida Georgia Line song off of his telephone last week. I I I'm going to say that it's 2017. You're saying you're saying telephone. You, what no, is no, no, nobody, nobody, what nobody sounds out telephone fully though. They say, they say nobody phone. else sounds Florida Georgia Line on their iPhone. <laughs> say, say, the first person you're, you're mad I don't at, have it. you're mad at me for saying all the letters in a word. And you got Florida Georgia Line on your phone. Dad, who was the first? Who was the first person in my life that I knew that had a hard on for Florida Georgia Line? You're like, oh, Florida Georgia Line followed me on Jeremy Twitter. Mackey. You, Jeremy, Mackey. you, Florida Georgia Line followed me on Twitter. Uh, you're, you're, well, I knew the cruise was a good song. Wine. at first. Cruise so was a good that's, song. That's what I started. But well, why is Florida Georgia Line following you on Twitter? Why did they follow me on yeah. Twitter? Because you're awesome. What are you, what are you posting out that they're following you on Twitter? I don't know. I might probably shot game a shout out. I was like, hey, oh, what oh, about a follow? No, oh, it, it was actually a photo a of his yeah. butthole spread I say, open. Photo, photo, <laughs> yeah, Come Florida on, George, <laughs> photo for follow right here. <laughs> it was the time. It was the time Mike saw him naked. He snapped a picture and sent it to Florida Georgia Line. Nailed it. And Five years later, you're saying. downloading their song. So. That's how you bring it back around. Right there. I didn't. That was, and uh, you know, if I was to have a song of theirs, it wouldn't have been the massacre of, that it was of the Friends in Low Places remix. I had no idea. You they said, you that said song. if you said if you was to have a song, Lindsay of bought it. Prick. Uh, <laughs> they used to roll the windows down at cruise. Don't let them yeah. lie to you. Yeah. yeah. They still yeah, I tried to jump out. That's what Shit. it was. <laughs> Lucas took my advice. There's a couch. And we have the escorts in place from last week. <laughs> Hello, ladies. 
I'm kidding. Well, let let Goose Goose hit it over here. Uh, we got um, Marie and Kristen. No, they're, they're not. They're not escorts. We we, we, we got them for free. <laughs> we got them for free down here today. Thank goodness. So. No, that's right. But anyway, what we're gonna do is kind of what Wesley done a few weeks ago. We got we got, we got Mike him. playing some tunes for us today. Mike played uh, through his through his agent Thad. <laughs> uh, Mackie's looking for a new client since Drew Drew uh, Green kicked him to the dumpster like some two dollar whore. And uh, a few weeks ago, a few months ago, a few years ago. <laughs> I just drive the bus, man. That's all I do. You just drive the bus, yeah. or uh, sell some merch. Yeah, that's it. Line up the after party, no doubt. For sure, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> the, I, I don't know if you know know what the ha- dad likes to hashtag party. Every now and again. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike, what all are you gonna play for us today? It's gonna play a few originals, you mm-hmm. know, uh, some of the new stuff, and uh, see how it goes, brother. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, what do you? Uh, before we get into it, what are you doing right now? You gigging around? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm playing, playing local here and uh, not here. Well, we're, I don't <laughs> yeah, even know no. where the hell we are, man. <laughs> <laughs> not in Cookville. I got yeah. blindfolded and thrown in the back of a Tahoe. Here we are. <laughs> yeah, last time you were seen. <laughs> but uh, now I'm playing Hendersonville, a little bit in Nashville, but uh, probably four or five gigs a month right now. Just writing, getting ready to record uh, first EP. So very good. I tell you what, a, a whole lot of people was really excited about um, about you after the about the, you know the, after the, the park. day at the park there. Um, I'm stumbling my words like I did that day. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had I had a lot of people talking about you. They everybody wanted to know who you were. That was for yeah, sure. Man. Yeah. So can, and, when, and, when for, can, and for Stevie too. Oh yeah, Stevie that was probably yeah, that's my right hand man. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Man. That was uh, him slapping that. Uh, Cajon. Drum was yeah. What is it? Yeah, call, yeah ca- uh, Cajon. Yeah, yeah like that, that was the, one of the talks of the day right there, brother. They never seen nothing like that out. Oh here no, that and a saxophone <laughs> both in the same night. They didn't <laughs> want to. <laughs> Got our minds blue in every springs. All right, so uh, yeah. we'll go into the first song right here, and uh, it's one of my personal favorites. So we'll uh, we'll get you introduce it. Whiskey, did you miss me? There it is. I didn't All know right. the official. I just had the bootleg copy. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't have a track list. All right. Are we ready? We're ready. It's been a while since you've been gone. People say I'm better off But I've counted up the cost And I know that I'm still lost Oh, I've tried a thousand things People say there's better ways I can't look you in the face And I can't ignore your taste Ignore your taste Whiskey, did you miss me? You know it's been a long while Oh, I need you more and more Now that she is not around Trying a couple women Well, I've even tried cocaine You're the only thing I know that kills the pain Mackie's just smiling ear to ear over there Looking through all photographs All those good times that we had I can't put you in the past All the memories, they still last They still last We're scared, did you miss me? You know it's been a long while But I need you more and more now that she is not around Tried a couple women Hell, I've even tried cocaine 
cocaine You're the only thing I know that kills the pain Oh, I tried so hard to just push you away But tonight I'm really hoping that you'll stay Whiskey, did you miss me? You know it's been a long while Need you more and more Now that she's not around Whiskey, did you miss me? You know it's been a long while But I need you more and more Now that she's not around Tried a couple women Hell, I've even tried cocaine You're the only thing I know that kills the pain Yeah, you're the only thing I know that kills the pain I'm looking at you. I'm, oh, I know uh, what you're your point opinion is. You just pointing at me like uh, <laughs> I, I want to know how you feel about that song because that's my favorite song. Oh, gosh, it. it was amazing. Um, you Pretty really dead. are a fantastic musician. Huh? Did, and so you wrote that one or that you wrote it with that guy? He brought it to you and you had to finish it or what? Yeah, else? so he, uh, he brought me the idea, just mm-hmm. the initial. All, all, all he had was uh, that line. Mm-hmm. You no, know, whiskey. It was actually whiskey, have you missed me? Mm-hmm. And uh, we sit outside on the patio. And uh, we may or may not have uh, sparked up a doobie. <laughs> right. And, uh, yeah, he was like, Whiskey, have you missed me? And I was like, I like that. Yeah. And uh, he was like, yeah, it's been quite a while. Like, talking random. Yeah. Stupid, just talking trash. No, stupid. High. It wasn't even about the song. It was just high. Like, he was just stoned. <laughs> He's a man. Yeah. He's like, Demeza, Demeza. It's been quite a while. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell does that mean, man? And I, and then I put them together. I was like, "Whiskey, did you miss me? It's been quite a while." And then it eventually just snowballed into yeah into what it into is into a hell of a song. And, yeah, yeah. And, and we wrote it maybe in a probably twenty thirty minutes, man. The entire thing. That's a all, well spent thirty minutes yeah, out all, there. Yeah. It all came together really quick, and uh, it's not typically like that. But sometimes you know you get like when it hits, it hits. Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. It's like Stalkup was talking the other night. He was sitting there looking at the river and just popped into his head and sometimes you just knock a good one out in a hurry that's it and other times you spend three or four months trying to trying to make something one line yeah. to one song yeah 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 man that's uh like i said that's just one of my personal favorites that uh stood out after the uh the concert at the park and it's on my cd the unnamed cd that i know no song names too so hopefully after today i'll know all the song titles <laughs> <laughs> let's go ahead and get the second one what's uh what's the second on the uh the the next one it's uh, it's one we're we're working on. I actually wrote it a week ago with my friend Kenny Fuller from uh, Texas, and uh, it's still in the mix. So if I mess it up, you know, uh, just is what it is. <laughs> yeah, at this point. yeah. Don't give me, don't judge me. Okay. Uh, but it's it's a pretty got a funky vibe, kind of like a Ray Lamontane uh-huh. bluesy. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. So uh, uh-huh. right now it's uh, the working title is uh, Shaking Hands. So. Yeah. We'll go ahead and knock it out. Hope you like it, huh? Long nights feels like No, I'm not a loser, I'm just losing my mind And I don't know what I was thinking But my drinking hand is shaking And I don't think I can take it no more No, I don't know what I was thinking But my drinking hand is shaking And I don't think I can take it no more 
Oh, I know Only time I feel alive I lose control And let go Till I feel that fire burning in my soul Long days, slow pace Everything about it just keeps feeling the same I don't know what I was thinking But my drinking hand is shaking And I don't think I can take it no more oh, I don't know what I was thinking But my drinking hand is shaking And I don't think I can take it no more Oh, I know only time I feel alive, I lose control Let go Till I feel that fire burning in my soul messed up there it's all good but then now we go into like a slow clap kind of thing like a clap build up you know like say give me like a i don't know what i was thinking but i'm drinking and it's shaking and i don't think i can take it no more you know something like that i don't know what i was thinking but my drinking and it's shaking and i don't think i can take it no more so it's still working, and then it goes right back into the chorus. One of those things. But I, I say, <laughs> we'll, just, we'll, we'll end it on that note. Because it's a working title, working song. But so far, I got a pretty good response, I think, from most people. Well, if you know, uh, if we had any kind of rhythm, if we weren't a bunch of white people sitting down here trying to clap along with you, that might have worked out right there on the end. We just have no rhythm. I mean, we... Uh, we don't have enough whiskey. Y'all, y'all gave it a good oh, run. I yeah, got, we gave I, it a try. I got the whiskey, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the feel of that one, man. That one's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a funky, funky vibe. Yeah. So uh, is that one going to make the record too? I, I think so. I think full production. You know, yeah. we get uh, some, some background singers. We get some. Yeah. Lead guitar, maybe. Uh, I, I don't. I don't even know, man. Some horns, maybe. Like yeah. A, like a. Orchestra, kind of, yeah, damn Sturgill, little, something like that. No, like seriously, that, dude, little like, this jazz is, undertone to it. Dude, we're not we're not messing around, man. Yeah, like uh, like this this studio is legit, man. Like it's uh, George Strait's cut albums there back in the day. Uh, Upchurch the Redneck, the big YouTube sensation. I love that guy so much. We just don't talk about him on here because it, no, but no, he recorded his album. I've there. never heard him. I, he told me about him the other day. Yeah, he, but you got to hear. I'm, I'm talking about pr production value. Yeah, it's really good. You know, like yeah. his, it's it's legit. So yeah, that cat's got like four hundred thousand followers on Instagram. It's ridiculous. Too. Yeah, and, and he's just from right here in the middle of nowhere, Tennessee. Right. I'd rather rub up, rub one out with razor blades. And listen to him, but. No, we're, I'm not. You want to try to say that one more dude, time? Dude, dude, <laughs> you got the point. Hey, hey, bud. Hey, hey, man. Mid stroke. Yeah. You're, but the production. I'm yeah. talking about the production. Yeah. No, I meant the content. Like, it's clean, man. It, the way it comes out. I'm, it's I'm talking about the way the album sounds and the way his stuff sounds. Yeah. yeah. It's legit. You know yeah. what I mean? And we're we're mm. in the same studio. So yeah, uh, it's real good. Now, where's that studio going to be? At? He won't it's, hear this, uh, Willie. No. Maybe. I, hope, I might send it to him personally and be like, <laughs> "Yeah, he'll probably at, uh, one of these guys." I'll be you like, "I'll be like, yeah, at, uh, 22 minutes." Uh, you know, D DK is slamming up shirts. <laughs> yeah. well, he looks like the guy kind of guy that burned my house down. So I'm assuming not that happened. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't yeah. know the guy at all. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just yeah, like that. I'm just, but I'm uh, yeah. yeah, in terms of production value, that yeah, place it's is really pretty good. legit. It's it's uh, in Hendersonville, maybe a few miles from my house. It's a big basement. Just like this, but it's fully finished couches, you know, beer coolers. Yeah, that's, pre uh, that's pretty cool to know that George Strait done big, stuff there. Big screens, yeah. yeah, it's pretty neat, man. Good deal. That's kind of where I'm aiming for for this thing eventually. That's the basement.
Indeed. Podcast Corner. So what do you got next, man? What are you gonna what are you gonna do for next for us? Next, uh this is uh old my buddy Thad right here. This is what, your favorite or one of one of the t- top top two or three? Probably definitely top two. One of my favorites for sure. Yeah, th- this is a little more uh more of a rock yeah. rock and uh nineties vibe, you know, like real real smooth vocals and melody and stuff like that and it uh it, it really hits home and uh it's called uh running away so all right all right dk for your reference buddy this is track five oh, on yeah. that burnt cd i gave you i only got four on mine i got gypped <laughs> <laughs> did you really <laughs> yeah <laughs> no there's five on there i'm sure I think there probably was only four. Hey, Mackie, when Drew Green had his out, Blake Johnson said that he listened to it over and over and over before he figured it out. Probably come the second day, he's like, damn it, this, is, this has only got four songs on it. It's the same damn four songs I keep listening to. I listened to that, I listened to that album for at least 25, 30 minutes straight. <laughs> <laughs> same songs every time. wrote this when I was just a young man. Now I'm an old man. <laughs> Running away. Pull me a while as I crash and burn. Another night wasted on the battle My hands are trembling as I force it down Don't know how I'm gonna face tomorrow Was it something I said? Was it something I did? Make you wanna get up and leave all of this Running away I watch your heart breathe Feeling a shame For leaving that way Got a smile that'll make his turn. I couldn't let the girl frown any longer. I'm hard to handle, and I let her down. Funny when you're gone, though, feeling stronger. Was it something I said? Was it something I did? Make you wanna get up and leave all of this running away. I watch your heart breathe, feeling a shame for leaving that way. And I think about it all the time Knowing I can make you mine Oh, I think about it all the time Knowing I can make you mine Think about it all the time Knowing I can make you mine Think about it all the time How I should help Feeling a shame For leaving that way A 
Hold me a while as I crash and burn Don't know how I'm gonna face tomorrow so you want me to go ahead yeah. and say that? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. That is, I can see why that's one of Thad's favorite songs. Oh, man. It's yeah. Just, you just killed that. What What is that it. What is that actually called? And I call it a falsetto, and I don't know if that's right or not, but we're, whenever you're singing a note and you carry a note out and your voice modulates, what's that actually called? Because you do it a lot better than anybody else I've heard. No, that's that's exactly, you got It is falsetto yeah. then. No, no, it's falsetto is like, when I, oh, that's okay. like a, when you do the fake high voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh-huh. Pretty much exactly what you said, dude. Yeah, just so modulating you, your voice yeah, at the end. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man, it's fantastic. Like, like the whole Toby Keith thing that he always does. Like, American girl. <laughs> yeah, American yeah. Girl. yeah. That runs cold chills all over <laughs> me when you're doing that. I'm in song, I man. appreciate it. America. Yeah. <laughs> America. America. <laughs> Speaking of that, let's play a Toby song, huh? <laughs> hey, knock a Toby out right here. <laughs> How do you like me now? <laughs> I don't know why you stop. <laughs> I don't know. Dude. Sing about you. You don't sing about you. <laughs> me? Just you, me? You, you, me. you, you, me. you. Oh, me. Just occasionally. Me. <laughs> don't know about me. <laughs> so that right there is a falsetto. All right. <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, where it's not really yeah. high, but it is high. <laughs> There you go. Well, yeah. You're always hating on Toby. He sings too many songs about America, right, DK? I mean, generally, it's all he talks about. America and what else? There was something else I'm a damn about. American, so I don't care. I, I like either. it. I like yeah. America. <laughs> I mean, the first, like, 17, I was like, hell yeah, Toby. America. So, <laughs> America. Like, 18, like, nope. like, shit, come on, Toby. <laughs> America, <laughs> Jesus, and freedom. Cam Brady, 2012. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> <laughs> this town's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. Get your brooms. <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, man, you got one more in you? I bet he does. Oh, Nelly. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, man. So this is uh, like one of my major influences growing up as a kid. A little cover tune. I, li- I listened to a lot of like Stained, you know, Breaking Benjamin, stuff like that along those lines back in the day. So we'll, we'll play one of those. Oh, oh, dude! I just—it worked out that that our voices are very similar, Aaron Lewis and mine. So. And you, you bring me to my knees again. All the times that I could be.
inside I'm looking in I can see through you See your true colors Inside your ugly Ugly like me I can see through you See through the Fantastic, dude. Holy crap. Thanks for coming in today and playing for us, man. <laughs> Anytime, buddy. <laughs> Anytime. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what took so long. Yeah. Where you been? Dude, I've been busy, man. Been yeah. working. I gotta gotta work the real job. Yeah. So what is the real job? Bartending. Oh yeah. Tending yeah. the bar in Nashville, man. Yeah. Trying to make the big bucks. I work about twenty hours a week. <laughs> yeah. That's every, all bartenders work, gotta work if you're good. Every Working week for tips, yeah. I mean, uh, we'll, we'll bring home about uh, four to five thousand dollars every week. Ooh. I don't know why anybody. I don't know why anybody would want to. And when I give that up, did I say four? Um, I said forty-five thousand, not four to five. Correct. <laughs> yeah. That's right. So uh, yeah, we're bringing in. But that. you're a hell of a fisherman too. Hell of a what? Fisherman. Fisherman. The story gets bigger every time. No, but he will clean your boat. He does that. <laughs> yeah, I, I do detail boats. Yeah. And I do play music, man. I got to have all the outlets for the money. Yeah. Got to have all the hands out. Well, yeah, so when you when are you planning on being in the studio and recording this though? Uh, actually, I start this Thursday, man. Very good. This coming Thursday. So, uh, what's the date? Today is the eleventh, I believe. Tenth or eleventh. So the uh, the the sixteenth. You're gonna be in the studio. Recording. Be in the studio the sixteenth, uh, and then we'll be back in on the following Tuesday and the following Thursday. So and, you're knocking it out pretty quick, man. Yeah, hopefully have uh, you know, four four plus tracks by by April first. Like, so you're gonna release like an uh, what is that LP then? Yeah. Yeah, limited play, yeah. Yeah, limited play. Yeah. A little LP, uh, we'll yeah. go on uh iTunes, Spotify, Pandora, all that all that jazz. So man. when can we expect that? Hopefully by April first, dude. Man, I mean, fantastic. Man. Yeah, I mean as long as uh you know my guys get it done. Very good, so man. We, that was we will uh, see. we're looking forward to that. So what what do you got coming up in the year then? So you're just gonna keep gigging, you're gonna kinda Yeah, keep keep gigging, keep playing, uh doing a lot of writing, you yeah. know, uh networking. We uh I sent a couple songs to Tyler Farr about a month ago, oh, yeah? so we'll uh, we'll see how those goes. It was it was pretty uh, a pretty productive experience, honestly. It yeah. seems like with your voice and your style, you could send it to so many different artists and genres. It's just like you're not just pigeonholed in anything because you just play it all over the place. Yeah. And it seems like not just Tyler Farr, but you could send that like like Thad said earlier, like that sound like a good Daughtry song, and then the way you done Aaron Lewis, it's there's really like so many artists that you could pitch these songs to i mean that's that's the plan man just just like we talked about just making money man I'm just trying to have as many outlets as possible and uh music wise or uh you know work wise business wise uh 
try to write songs that 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 kind of please everybody because that's 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 how I grew up, man. Yeah. Like it was a uh, it wasn't just listening to Garth Brooks. You know, I listened to Garth Brooks, Brian McKnight, The Beatles, all across the map. So mm-hmm. yeah, so uh, just, I went blank on his name. Who's uh, Killer Word? Wrote. Eric Church. Eric, Eric Church. Church. Yeah, you yeah. kind of got Eric Church vibe. You know, Eric, Eric Church don't kind of go down one thing there, and you kind of got Eric right. Church look now that I'm sitting there looking at you. But maybe, they, yeah. But <laughs> they uh, watch out, Mac. You'll get a boner. Yeah. Have you ever? <laughs> <laughs> have you had any like, you know, you talked to anybody big like that? You know, looking at big things like that other than yep. Tyler yep. I'm, I'm, Right now, that that's pretty much it, man. Like, yeah. uh, I, I was good friends with his uh, merchandising director. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they hung out every, you know every single day and he was like part of their wedding and all this stuff and that and he was like dude i've been with tyler for three years and i've never once came to him you know with a song like Uh that i believed in and uh we wrote this song uh i was actually with a friend of mine amy alexander it's a female female writer obviously amy (laughs) (laughs) But I uh, wasn't gonna say it. We don't make judgments these days. <laughs> no, but uh, no, it's a duet. That's what I. That's what yeah. I was getting at. And uh, he really liked that. Yeah. And so I put that and the uh, whiskey. Did you miss me? Mm-hmm. That you heard first. Uh, put that on a CD and uh, we gave it to Tyler. And he came back a few weeks later and he was like, "Dude, I really like your stuff, but I don't think it's for me at the time. Right. Like right now. What? But it, he's like, I'm gonna keep your CD. Yeah. Which is pretty neat, you know, like. And just throw it, toss in the trash, like yeah. most people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, uh, it's a uh, it's really real. You know, you can feel the uh, the songwriting inside of that. You know, you can tell that uh, that's real stuff. That's shit you don't hear on the radio right now, right. unfortunately. But, you know, so that may have been what he was saying. It's too real for the radio right now. Maybe. I hate, I, Maybe. but man, it's so good. I I just hate that. I hate that it's not going to be out there for everybody. So if, if anybody's listening to this, if they don't want to listen to us jibber jabber and talk, at least have them download this and listen to this guy sing, man. Sir, yeah, <laughs> that's the plan, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, what's your next? Uh, what's your next place? Somebody can come find you. Uh, next stop is uh, Hendersonville, Tennessee. Yeah, the Cove, March twenty fifth. March twenty fifth. So it's a lakefront bar. You know, uh, badass, uh, awesome stage, awesome lighting. Uh, they pour pretty heavy on the cocktails. All right. So for Boys all you, Jameson. all your drinkers out, <laughs> out there. Yeah, and. Uh, you know, you got a beautiful view on top of, you know, hearing uh, some really good songs. Like a couple assholes, <laughs> <laughs> some, some shitty cover tunes. Well, if anybody's in Hendersonville on March 25th around the Cove, get down there and watch this guy sing. And your your Washington Redskins are 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 a joke right now. They they've got the best quarterback <laughs> they've had in 20 years, and they're not they won't even pay the boy. They just keep wanting to dick around know, with this franchise tag. I thought we weren't going to talk about this, DK. <laughs> you look it's, you look good in two tone blue. Is all I'm saying. Just jump <laughs> tight up, son. <laughs> jump jump off the sinking ship and get on the Titanic. Hey, dude, it's not sinking. There's a uh, <laughs> honestly, how how many uh, how many rings do y'all have? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I get it, but we're ascending up. We got a quarterback that wants to be here. We were, we were, and then we fired our GM. And, and we got uh, a badass GM now, so yeah. The we, Titans are playing yeah. their way to the middle right now. Yeah, we we fired our GM. It's and we lost uh, <laughs> lost to Sean and Pierre in the same day, buddy. Yeah, but you got Terrell Pryor, who thinks he might be a wide receiver. For... I mean, worst case scenario, he can be a third string quarterback. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you hope so. Anyway. Yeah. Eight mil a year is not bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's so. uh, when Dale Junior is tweeting about it. All the time. Oh, he's pissed, dude. <laughs> he's he's pissed. My boy McConaughey's pissed. Yeah. Oh, Matthew McConaughey. Oh, is a, he's a what, Redskins fan. Die too? hard, dude. Is he? Die hard Skins fan. Man. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't saying that. Hey, he? man. You know what I like about these high school girls? <laughs> I keep getting older, and they stay the same age. They stay the same age. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Think you're gonna enjoy prison? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, so. So we got yeah, you down here, man. Bad, man. We got you in the middle of Herman Springs. All Herman Springs people are, are offended to the Cookville reference earlier. Like I'm going to Cookville, Tennessee. I thought this was Red, Red. I Bowl thought Springs this was Red Boiling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's kind of a yeah, hole in the wall. Yeah, we don't have a post office, so technically our address is Red Boiling. There you Bam. go. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah, that's what I Nailed it. it. <laughs> you see. 
I've been here before, man. Yeah, I know. So, I, uh, I know how y'all roll out here, man. Yeah. How'd how'd you, he leaves and playing a banjo when he's done. <laughs> <laughs> how'd you meet your main man right here, Thad? Anyway, how'd you guys meet? Thad, we met at uh, the bar, uh, Jolly Olives, where I bartend, man. Mm. Like he uh, he walked in with uh, two of his buddies, and uh, it was pretty memorable because I asked for their IDs, like I do everybody. You know, like yeah. especially last year, you got you have to ID every single person in the state of Tennessee. I don't care if you're eight or eighty. Right. And uh, he walked in with uh, Troy and Brooks, Brooks yeah. and Thad gives me his ID. Brooks gives me his ID, and I'm like, "Hey, buddy, can I see your ID?" And this guy Troy, uh, he's like, "I don't have it," and I'm <laughs> like, "Well, I can't give you a cold beer, man." <laughs> and he's like, he looks at me and he's like, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> I'm like, "No, sir. Yeah, I don't know this guy from Adam." He's like, "Are you are you kidding me?" I was like, "Yeah." He was like, "I have it." But it's back at the house. I was like, we're going to have to go back to the house. <laughs> and he looks at me, and he starts just cussing me out. He's like, you Bad. mother. <laughs> like, what kind of place is this? Dad, let's get out of here. We're never coming back here, blah, blah, blah. So uh, Dad's playing damage control. All I say is, Troy, go get your ID. I'm going to drink a beer. <laughs> 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 I'm happy where I'm at. So, yeah, so, uh, I brought my wallet to the bar. <laughs> so his, his boy goes home and gets his ID, and, and uh, we struck up a friendship. Yeah, like quickly after, because he was being so kind. He was like, "Dude, I'm so sorry for him, man." Like, yeah, you know, like blah blah blah, this and that. And uh, at the time, I think you were the only three guys that were sitting at the bar. I think it's just yeah. I was three and uh, yeah, he he invited me out to do something like the next day, and I was like, I was new to town, I didn't have any friends, and I was like, yeah, hell yeah, dude, I'll come <laughs> hang right. out with you guys. Well, and it was it was pretty neat. You're the you're the first of. That bunch that I met of Thad's friends, and he he really bragged, you know, bragged on you about how good of a musician he was and how good of a dude he was. So I think, you know, when you come up here a couple of times, I met you. And, and I, I don't know which friends I've met of Thad's, but I, I did meet a couple that were borderline, maybe not as nice. <laughs> One night, uh, they just weren't as friendly. I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, I don't either. But uh, now, <laughs> good story then. Not, I mean, I, I wasn't going with a story. I don't want to. Oh. I don't want to be like, hey, you call them out. I, I don't know a story, bro. I don't. I, don't remember. I do have asshole friends. I mean, it's fine. yeah. I mean, I vouch for that for myself. But like, you know, I I didn't, didn't want to say like, hey, Kyle. The time I met you at Printer's Alley, you're a dickhead because yeah. we don't care what you own. But yeah. you're not, you're not as cool as you thought you were that night. You prick. Uh, he probably <laughs> met Troy. <laughs> probably. What's yeah. he do for a living? He's an X-ray tech, like I am. No, it's not. Wasn't him then? I'm playing. Maybe he was with the guy that was thought he was, but anyway, I, the story of that is Thad's got two dickhead friends that I've met. You're not one of them. You're a good guy. Finally brought the good one in. Town. Yeah, well, dude, I, I'll, I'll take that as a W. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, right there. I mean, I try to treat everybody pretty friendly, man. Yeah, that's it. Stay humble. And, Stop. Kind, and oh. kind. Sounds Always like a good song. You should pitch yeah. that one to Tim McGraw. Yeah, let me uh, let me see if I can think of a song right here. <laughs> Let me see. I mean, I'm I'm thinking hard right now. Yeah. Uh, we'll write a song right now on the radio. What do you say? Always be humble and kind. You know there's a light at the end of the front porch. <laughs> what do y'all think about the start of that? I like it. I really like, I like where it's like going. I like where it's going. <laughs> we were originally the front porch podcast or the yeah, back we porch really podcast. Were the back porch podcast when we started. Turns out that there's a uh, church group that's called the back porch podcast. Good thing you steer clear to that. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I waited until I... Uh, They've been praying oh, for this podcast ever since. <laughs> yeah, I really did my research. I waited until I got a... I uh, went ahead and bought the uh, domain name. I went ahead and s- sent the uh, podcast out to try to get it approved and everything. And I thought, man, phew, I might want to Google that. Yeah. After I done spent $50 on making getting all the stuff wrapped up, which they didn't do a very good job of getting their name wrapped up. Right at the beginning because I was I snatched that right up. Did you get that money back? Or? No, no, it's my domain name. And if they want it, hey, Back Porch Podcast, you enter domain name back twenty five dollars and you got it. Amen. Sold. Sold. Amen. Yeah. So Thad, man, it's good to see you for sure. Good to see you it's too, a long buddy. time. Uh, did you been down here? Yeah. And you don't Christmas. come around. Well, see, I don't. I don't get to go do this with you. I always get the. He's give up on me because like you forever. You're like let's drink cold beer. Then like. I holler at you every time I come in town, but Except babysitter like, is never available. It's well tonight it is. We're going to eat with you guys, so I'm excited about that. You know, the first uh, for as, for as long as I can remember, people's been saying me and Thad look alike. You know, right now I'm not. I got shaved this week, so it's not. We're not as on. I remember bartending at Wooly Bullies one time, and this girl comes in. She goes, "Oh my God, Thad!" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh God!" I said, "Yes." <laughs> she goes. 
what are you doing? I said, I don't know you. She goes, Thad, stop. I was like, no, you stop. She goes, you're Thad, aren't you? I was like, get her the hell out of this bar. <laughs> Kick her out. The one night I wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was the one night you weren't there. I, I still to this day, I never ask her. She goes, seriously, Thad. I was like, seriously, I don't know who the hell you are. I'd like to know who it was. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. I mean. I think her name was Kayla Chapman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was bad. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me, Lord, for I've sinned. Well, we're all the pygmies in New Guinea. I'm pretty sure she knows the difference. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, so Luke is in here to cut any of that out. He just got up. And is, is is Chapman a cousin to anybody else that I know? Because didn't you didn't she didn't you say Chapman? Yeah, she dated. That's, that's she, code name. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, that well, works for me. Well, she dated uh, Rex, who was a former UK basketball player, slash Phoenix son, Rex Chapman. You yeah. remember him? I do know of Rex. Yep. I call him Rexel. That's my pet name for him. Oh, perfect. Me too. <laughs> Jeremy. What's up? Nice to have you. Luke Combs in studio. You got your flat bill, Luke Combs. I went through three flat, flat bills this morning. I'm trying to figure out a... Uh, Sound it out. Spell it. Flat. Is this or the whiskey jam? No, he said frat bill. Don't let him lie yeah. to you. No, I didn't say frat bill. <laughs> Drink another one, Mackie. <laughs> yeah. Jeff, you want to get on this too? Hey, can somebody <laughs> get uh, Jeremy a higher stool? I can't see him. I'm not even sitting on a stool. Oh, you're standing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I do need a stool. <laughs> I believe you might after that one. <laughs> Good one. things about broke, though, man. I ain't it's on broke. a stool. Hey, by the way, I, I would like to, uh, to clear up a story that Mackie told on me. On the last podcast, okay, I'd love to hear it. You know, I'm all I about have, second. I'm all about because hey, I tell a story doesn't mean the last tr- time. Well, that's exactly how you introduced it. Well, hey, I'm podcast. all about second chances on this podcast, Dad. Right. You so. know, so don't get me wrong. I have asked Mackie many a times for a shot or a beer, right? Guaranteed. It. But the last time, as he introduced on the podcast, right. he was like, "Dad, come on down," you know. And then I, I was begging for stuff the whole night. It's not how it that's, happened. That's not how it went. Is no, it? I was at. Tailgate Brewery. We were drinking mm-hmm. beers, having hanging out. We met Mike downtown. Mackie was at the same bar. Right. But he promised Chris and I five beers apiece if we would just come downtown after the Preds game. I was like, Mackie, I don't want to go. I'm saying I'm gonna go back to Hendersonville. He's like, Walker, No, come I, down. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's just that story. He's like, No, come on down. So we came down, and you know he greeted me at the door with a beer. There you go. And then the Jaeger bomb, and then another Jaeger bomb. I was like, Yeah, this is working out nice. Ne- but never. Next d- thing I know, Mackie's hammered. And he buys everybody in Hendersonville a Jaeger bomb. Surprise, surprise. I say, Mackie, what was your tab that night? It had to be, you know, $200. I got out of there for $75, Thad. I did real good. I was like, shit, you put it on Walker? Walker. <laughs> so anybody that don't know the Walker story needs to be uh, needs to be refreshed right here. Because it's too great of a story to only have. It was went- on the episode of uh, Me and Hatcher, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm saying if anybody didn't listen to it, though. Would like to be refreshed. Man, that was the bad, the worst thing I ever did in my life, man. I still feel horrible about it. I don't feel like that's a genuine apology. Yeah. It's like my 13% I apologize to Thad. <laughs> well, that, that wasn't even there. Hey, I'd like to hear the Walker story. All, All right. right. So, <clears throat> so ahead, it, it's at the greenhouse bar. I'll, I'll, I'll give, the, I'll give this, I'll set the, I'll set the setting here. Set the tone. Okay. So it's, it's me, Hatcher, Mackie, Lindsay, and a couple other people. And we're uh, we're at a free concert at a, at a greenhouse bar in Nashville. Okay, so we get there early. It's like three hours before the show starts. So we're all drinking beer around the bar there, and well, you know how Nashville is. It's getting pretty expensive there. In a couple hours, and the show's not even started. So Mackie thinks, I got an idea. And I'll lead you there. Well, I mean, it's <clears throat> well a couple hours later, and I've done dropped a hundred bones in this bar. Only person says bones. Well, some dude. Walks to the bar, he's like, I'll have a Bud Light. And the bartender says, what's the last name? And he says, Walker. So I'm sitting there with the greatest idea I've ever had in my life at the time. <laughs> so I would give about 10, 15 minutes. I said, I need four Jaeger bombs and four Bud Lights. And she said, what's the last name? I said, Walker. <laughs> <clears throat> Dude, this shit went on for at least a couple hours. Last name Walker, yep. Go right ahead. Four Jaeger bombs, four Bud Lights. <laughs> I mean, next thing you know, his face looks like a stroke because yeah, he's been drinking so many yeah. Jaeger bombs. On, I feel sorry for that guy, dude. And I wish I could see him to buy him a Jaeger bomb now, uh, or, mean, or sixteen, or or <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah. ass, you know, maybe just give him the two hundred dollars yelling. So. <laughs> but I got paid back one night. 
I don't know if you ever heard that story or not. <laughs> oh, was it last the last time I seen you in Nashville? No, it was a Spanky's one night, dude. It was a Spanky's <laughs> on a Friday night. I was went to see Drew for a while. Spanky's! <laughs> and I literally had three beers, dude. I swear to God, I had three beers that night. And my tab was $92. <laughs> I said, Steve, uh, it's, I said, I've only had three beers. He said, not according to your tab tonight. I said... Uh, that's cliche, man. I'll, I'll let him pay it, dude. There so. was there was fifteen cap of cigs and chubbies and sperries that had down the time of their life on your tab, and while they while they stood in their chair in yeah. some Garth Brooks. That was probably some teats. <laughs> teats. Yeah, probably. Okay. Speaking of teats, I like teats. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever floats your boat, buddy. Yeah, I can't offend your fraternity that you never were a part of. I know. Kappa Sig. This, this is the most honorary Kappa Sig in the history. Yeah. I, 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 I still I, play in the golf tournament to I, this yeah, day. I can't, I can't go tomorrow, bro. Is that got, the one I, I played in with you that one time? No, nah, that was the State Trooper golf tournament. Oh, that was fun. We got shit can drunk. It was awesome. Yeah. What shot? What? 18 over? <laughs> <laughs> bro, After nine. nine. Mackie, I feel like every story you ever told me ends with, we got shit can drunk. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to turn the page, though, Mike. <laughs> Mac, you, <laughs> nigga, you at least 40. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 35. What are you doing? <laughs> mm. Had this beard, though. You like the beard, Mike? No, it looks like a squirrel nest. <laughs> squirrel nest. <laughs> <laughs> it's all twirling into your ears and I know. And such. I'm, I'm about over it, dude. Hey, so Mackie, uh, <laughs> so Mackie, uh, tell Lucas where you really heard of he was at this week. This week? No, the story you heard. Oh, about the Tim McGraw song. Yeah. It was not at school. Some FFA camp talent show, maybe? You sang it there? I, uh, it was not 4-H. It was the FFA camp. I don't know, man. I'm just Future kidding. Fags of America. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas is the president of that one. Literally, I was. <laughs> uh, Amanda's, Amanda's got a better memory than <laughs> I don't remember you singing ever. Like I don't like you're just not a guy that sings a lot of uh, a lot of uh, songs around the house. Hey, it's not up to me to question Amanda. She's got a better memory than I got. She she may remember, but I don't. I don't remember doing it. Yeah, that's, I, I'm just telling what I was what, what I was told. So okay, all right. Sorry. No, it's I just wanted to my sources are apparently wrong. So. <laughs> Makes me look like a dipshit. Yeah. A week later, you should have this cleared up now. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's not even been a week. It's been since Wednesday. Well, so. half a week. Okay. Yeah. What else is going on? I don't know, man. I'm trying, trying to get old Jeff out on the town tonight in Coville over there. Come on, Jeff. Get on this microphone. Jeffrey. That me- <laughs> Melly Yellow hitting you a little too hard over there. Yeah. Apparently I had too much fun last night, so... <laughs> I hope that didn't pick up on any of those five microphones floating around. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> He's uh, apparently had a good time at the Clarion last night. I don't know. Got a hell of a deal in the room, I heard. <laughs> I don't stay. I don't, I don't go to the Clarion, so. <laughs> well, that's the one the bar. Since when? Yeah. Don't go to. Last time I was with you, we went to Clarion. Yeah, because well, you... DJ Doug ain't there no more, man. Yeah. Who, is it? Who is it now? DJ Dark. No, come on. You got to talk in the microphone. You can't Jeremy gets pissed when they don't play Cupid Shuffle three times. Yeah. So. Here, Jeff, what's the name of the DJ now? DJ Dark Meat. What? Dark <laughs> DJ Dark Meat. Dark Meat? No way. Dark, Dark Meat. meat. Is that- I can't think of his last name. Oh, Zach uh, works for 98.5. Uh, he, works, he sells cars over at... Uh, Freaky Dave? I have no idea. I'm Kristen, lost. would you like to say anything? Hey. Need to do something that's, that's one of the escorts. <laughs> really? Marie, you want to say anything over here? <laughs> no? All right. So y'all got... Surely, Thad, you got to say something else. You got anything else to talk about while you're on here? Well, we could talk about... uh. Mackie's first trip to uh, Mike's bar. It was, it was a pretty oh, time. Oh, that yeah. was a great night, dude. So uh, Go ahead. Y'all tell it. Even though we didn't get no pizza. What, what did we start off doing? We, did we go bowling? No. no uh, we, just, we went downtown first or something. No, I think we came straight to... Straight to Hendersonville? I met you at your apartment. Yeah, and we drank, what, we drank a few beers there and then went out. Maybe. I don't remember. But we get to Ollie's. I don't think we... I have no idea. Either way, we end up at Mike's bar, and I don't even I don't even remember if Mike's bartending or not. But we get there, and it's karaoke night on Friday, having a good time. And Maggie's like, "Should I sing a song?" I said, "Well, no matter if I tell you or not, you're going to sing a song." He's like, "What do you want to hear?" I was like, "Well, I know what you're going to sing." Yeah, every time. Gets up there, gets ready for a little sweet Caroline. 
starts off. Every crowd's feeling it. You know, there's probably 30 people in the bar. And they was having a good time. They were having a good time. Mackie was doing really good. Entertainer of the year. One minute into yeah. the song, shirt comes completely off. <laughs> Jailhouse tattoos. Hams. Hairy ass belly. Touching hands. <laughs> Killing it. Reaching out. Now. And then touching the you. Now, Maggie, hit it. Sweet. Touching me. <laughs> so I feel like you're the, you could possibly be the next internet sensation if you let this go worldwide. No, no it's not going to happen. Really? Yeah. I see all sorts of but Marie, people a lot less fortunate than you. That I'll be in Boston next month with Marie, and I hope that Neil Diamond is somewhere around there because he lives in Boston. So <laughs> I want to meet this cat, dude. Well, anyway, the bar went from uh, 30, <laughs> not going now. 30 people to about 10 as soon as the shirt come off. Everybody went outside to smoke. If they didn't smoke, yeah, they started smoking. Yeah, or puke. Smoking. Or yeah. puke. Either way. <laughs> I was he's, entertained. He's, he rocked it. <laughs> no, I think he does. I've seen him many nights do that it's song. It's either that or Dinosaur, man. It's my go-to songs. He tried to get me to do Dinosaur that night. God I was like, no, nope, go ahead. Hey, the, night that, the night that we all were at um, Eric Church, we were all there uh, in 2000. And I guess I stripped that night too, didn't I? 12. Well, Jeff was over there having the absolute time of his life. And he was over there with his Eric Church startup kit. He had the sunglasses yeah. and he had the hat, <laughs> had the whole deal. And he was doing the, you know, and I said, and he was just like in the, in the aisle, you know, here's, here's section 114, here's 115, whatever. He kept getting the side going, raise, I mean, just raising <laughs> hell, you know, over there. And I went, I said, <laughs> well, you guys can. So imagine what Eric Church does when he does that thing with his fingers, is all I'm saying. And then, uh. I looked at Lindsay and I said, if he's having that much fun, I said, imagine what in the hell Jeremy and Thad's up there doing in the, <laughs> in the upper deck. And it comes out a few days later, like, no shirts. No, I, no, I got a boot in there. I got a boot in there. Mackie that was in Louisville. Yeah. No, that was, was in Louisville. It was what you're talking about. Is that when we went to Louisville? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I don't either. <laughs> I remember. Both times I've been to Louisville, I don't recall. I remember one thing about Louisville, and Lucas is probably going to edit this out. Mm. Um, I remember being on 4th Street Live when we were going to that bar, PBR. Yep. And we left there and wanted Taco Bell. Talk about it. Remember that? And they was closed. Yep. Remember what we did? Nope. No, we didn't. No, we pissed on, we pissed on the door at first. And then... I did not do this. Yes, you did. <laughs> this is a different Then you had a beer bottle, and you threw it at the sign at the top of the building. That's a true story, Thad. I did this? Yes, you did. Yes. Hmm. Hey, Mackie. Yes. Can Maybe I can it. I trim your beard? No. <laughs> no, no, like no, not the the length, just the size. No, April the fifth, you can do whatever. No, you want to. hey, hey, dude, like it'll it's make you, it'll make you look way better. <laughs> no, it's I'm pissing me the, off. I'm sorry. Off me for a minute. Though. No, like right here. You, you want to feel it? I, I trimmed that no? to look, and it'll still look beautiful it. down here. No, man. I, you'll, dude, you'll still look I'm like the dwarf from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Clay said that Yeah you look You got a little Lord of the Rings What's dude. his name What's that dwarf's name I, I, I don't know I never watched a second of it But I, I know what they look like and I thought there were seven dwarfs Yeah you've got know. like an axe <laughs> You have an axe in your hand And you You or Sorry I, And you And you disturb some shit <laughs> You disturb some things <laughs> You're really rolling out Mike <laughs> <sighs> Whiskey Didn't miss him <laughs> Ooh. He's dropping the f bombs. It's a nice coffee That's cup you got over there, man. Hey, let me say that thing. Thanks, Mackie. It's got bourbon in it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, maybe some coffee. I don't know. Hour three in, it's pretty good for for dropping my first f bomb, though. <laughs> yeah, I got oh, it. you got no it. doubt. <laughs> <laughs> He's on his phone. I mean, there's 42 of y'all around this table. Why do I have to carry it right now? When I'm not on the microphone. <laughs> Put Lucas back on the microphone. Well, share, go ahead, Lucas. Get share a microphone. microphone. I'm, I'm gonna take a smoke break, brother. All right. Well, there we can we can tell the real Mackie stories now that he's getting up and leaving. <laughs> that brought I, him back. Yeah, I don't recall that Louisville story at all. I don't believe that. Thing. I don't believe you doing it such. I, I promise you, I must have been absolutely <laughs> sleepwalking. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, I that's am what pissed. It was. I am pissed <laughs> no, when a Taco Bell is not open. You gonna have to talk on microphone if you are gonna be on here. Yeah, tell it out. Yeah, shut up. You're going to have to talk on the microphone. Because <laughs> after with the Taco Bell incident, uh, we went to the back to the hotel, and he slid like a freaking sliding in the home plate into the uh, elevators. Oh, I do remember that. 
Yeah. And he was probably out. No doubt about it. He probably didn't go in safe. I will tell you this, Mackey. No matter where he goes, he thinks he's in Cookville. We had a, <laughs> we had a local we had a local bar that we go to in Hendersonville a lot. Me and Mike absolutely kept the lights on there. It's called Piranhas. There's been days that we've stayed till three at, three in the morning. There's been days we've left at two in the evening where somebody's had to help us off the patio. Either way, uh, you bring Ma- well. you bring you bring Mackey in there one night, and I'm like Mackey, I'm, I'm dude, it's late. I'm getting ready to go to bed. Ah, oh, fat man, it's only like eleven. What do you, I was like, Mackie, I'm, I'm ready to go to bed, dude. I'm tired, and I might be a little drunk, whatever. Mackie walks out to the parking lot, takes a pee, and throws a beer bottle across the parking lot. You're in Hendersonville, Tennessee, son. Not cool. <laughs> you cannot do that. The, all of a sudden, the owner comes out, like, "Hey, man, no beer bottles thrown in the parking lot." He's like, "Oh, my bad, bro. That's all." He's <laughs> my bad, bro. Well, dude, speaking of this place, Piranhas. So this was two Easter's ago. So Easter, 2015. I'm like. You know, my my family lives a thousand miles away up in northern Virginia, and uh, I don't know why Thad didn't make it to Easter that year, but uh, <laughs> but anyway, I uh, bet Blake did. I, 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 I hollered at Grandma him. wasn't cooking, <laughs> and, don't count and we got absolutely toasted the night before, man. And I wake up about eleven. I'm like, Thad, what's your plans for the day? He was like, fish. I was like. Hell yeah. That's a cold word for piranhas. So. So, <laughs> Anybody else is wondering. I thought it was Captain D's. So, uh, Dad, Dad woke up on my couch, and we walked down to Piranhas at 11 o'clock a.m. Easter Sunday, dude, we were asleep by 2.30 <laughs> p.m., like until the next day. Like, we just went there, and it was just like... We ain't got no family. We ain't got no friends. <laughs> shot, 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 shot. <laughs> it's a real, it was a real good Easter. <laughs> Looking back, it was. I think I might have pissed my bed that night. <laughs> well, now it's out there for everybody to know. So. Hey, man, it's it's all good, man. Yeah. Sometimes you got to piss the bed. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you don't. I never piss the bed. Most of the time you don't. <laughs> We got DK crying over here. <laughs> I'm not. A, I know a lot of pissers, so I mean, you're, hey, you know, I don't judge. Well, dude, I I, I bought this. Uh, I bought this mattress topper. You know, <laughs> well, that's what off you got of cut. Amazon. If you're a pisser, you got to have those mattress toppers, <laughs> well, which is not often. It's about once every six months or so. Okay, you well. know, but I bought it just in case. Yeah. So it protects the mattress. But it also deflects the piss. Yeah. <laughs> All you so, get the sheets like that. Yeah, yeah. So just it beads off, just 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 like uh, just like some rain axe or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it just beads right off your 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 bed. So I bought this thing, and uh, it worked for about a year, right? <laughs> but that Easter Sunday it did not work. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know it's no. It, yeah. did, it did not work. I, I like I blacked out. Of course, you know it was it was a, a rough one. You know, yeah. I missed my family and and things like that. Yeah, I got beat. and I woke up and I have like a twelve towel arsenal, <laughs> right? And I woke up to take a shower and there was not a single clean towel. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell has happened here? Apparently, I just put them all on the bed. <laughs> they were all just soaking up this piss. <laughs> you don't know why you're telling this story on the podcast. I don't know either, but it's fucked. It's, it, what, it's it, one it, of the best it, stories ever. Though. So, <laughs> I mean, everybody in here is it, tears in their eyes. Yeah. It's so damn funny. But. Yeah. Sometimes, like when I tell stories, when I listen back, I'm like, man, I wish I wouldn't have told that one. <laughs> that's what, it's probably going to register over there. Yeah. But man, I, that guy but, can sing. Uh, you know, he pisses me at that. Hey, man. He'll sing I, you a tune while he pisses me. I, I have uh, I have corrected my ways. I well, will yeah. tell you. I, I, you got you got two shells. On now he wears now. a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I just uh, you doubled up the right. Yeah, I, 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 I go down the old the old man section and I, I grab a box of depends and typically I'm pretty good for for a couple weeks. They, they make medicine for that. There's kind of kids that piss the bed. They, they you can just take a pill. You can just take a one little pill. Yeah, I tried, about it. yeah, I tried that. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> that, yeah, that was a Percocet you took though. <laughs> Kicked in the pit. 
Uh, I'm, I can't believe I shared that. All, yeah, all that was line. great, man. But I, uh, I feel like we all got closer. Yeah, right there. I agree. I think the fans will like that as well, man. They're like, man, this guy, this so, guy has the same problem as me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it'll make you more endearing to them. Yeah, you know, probably yeah. get more tips in the jar. Welcome to the Piss Your Bed podcast. <laughs> this guy is honest. Yeah, yeah. we like his honesty. <laughs> we're we're going to drop him a 20 in the tip jar next time for his depends. At least we played the songs first, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nobody listens to this shit afterwards. They're just like, oh, okay. Well, hey, man, we're going to try to finish this up, this up, this last segment. We're all going to uh, celebrate James Hatcher's birthday after this is over at Cancun, Fiesta Cancun. and So uh, that I was asked by your girlfriend, Kristen, and during the break when you were over there talking to I, I want to know about this voicemail that you uh, you left her before y'all got together. Do you, you want to hear about that one? I'd love to hear about it. Well, Mike, Mike actually played a little Cupid on this. Uh, you a little know, Chuck Woolery? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm always in Jollies. I see Kristen walking in. She's smoking hot, and I'm like, you're like, damn, Gina. Yeah, never have a chance with this. So, you know, we're me and me and our friend Lockman, who moved to New York, <laughs> decided to like, man, Kristen left. Where'd she go? I was like, I don't know. Lockman called her, put her on speakerphone. <laughs> Of course, it's one in the morning. We're at another bar. She does not answer, so I leave her a voicemail. I'm like, "Kristen, this is Thad. We we just talked 45 minutes ago, and you're bleeping hot. <laughs> Hang up the phone. Yeah. Yelled it. Yeah. I mean, absolutely screamed yeah. it. That's complete, all you said. Complete jackass move. Like, I kept on for about five minutes. well, that's yeah. the highlights. I f- yeah, I felt like it was awful short. Well, it's <laughs> message for Thad. So I'm, I'm gonna hit the highlights. Said so yeah. you're bleeping hot. Oh, I'm sorry. I was following you earlier tonight. Like, and then, uh, you know, randomly we go to uh, somebody's. <laughs> Field party one night. We're throwing cornhole. She's there. I'm there. She keeps me out of getting in a fight. Imagine that. I'm not a fighter, but I wanted to fight that night. She brings me to the car, and then makes out. Y'all, y'all make out. Yeah, we made out. Did y'all tongue kiss we, in the car. Hell yeah! It, it, it wasn't that bad. You know? <laughs> hell yeah! Making out. Well, um, so no, but it came down to it. After that, you know, we we started talking after the after that party, and then a year and a half later, almost two years in now, so. Kristen, would you like to tell the story? Yeah, Come here. You, you, can, you can have this microphone. You tell the story, girl. The way this actually happened was you called me. Lockman was worried about where I was. So they call. I don't even think it was a voicemail. I think this was playing in my car as I was trying to listen to music. So it's on surround sound. That is yelling in my ear. Perfect. Kristen, you're smoking hot. Oh, my God. Where'd you go? Da, da, da. I'm like, okay, thanks. Like, really appreciate it. You're cool. Whatever. <laughs> and he just keeps on and keeps on. I'm like, well, it's all now it's <laughs> time that I'm so uncomfortable and cannot take the compliment anymore or know how to get him to shut up. I'm just like, all right, I'm just going to hang up here and that'll be that. And then after that, Mike with the sad thing that that is just how he wrangled me in. And that's how this all. Absolutely not. I had to. I had to so, woo her later. So if that's not true, then how was it? Just, just his. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I stayed drunk three months straight. Went to a meeting or two. Yeah. <laughs> Met each other at a meeting. Yeah. <laughs> Did you give him a cork sulking? <laughs> Too much. Yeah. No, that, you know, you know, it's a it's a wine joke, like a cork. You got the cork and you soak it in the grapes. You know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You know, there's some things, Mackie, that I don't, I don't stop short on. But that in there, we'll probably just let that ride. Okay. <laughs> any more, any more stories on Mackie you would like to tell me since I've been out of town for so long? Oh, I've not. You know, I don't go out you know, much anymore either. So. I mean, occasionally, what a day beer at Wooly Bullies here and there. I mean, I, I didn't get the whole background of you were buying you were buying beers the other day. Yeah. And then, it, and then Mackie brings a few Jaeger bombs to the table. Yeah, it is just a, it is just kind of ironic that Mackie wants to call you the tightwad oh. all the time, and then he's sitting in like he FaceTimes me. He's like, "Hey, I really like to have beer. <laughs> you know, I'd like to have beer. Would you like to have beer?" And I said, "I mean, yeah." So I'm supposed to trust Goose now, just because Goose said <laughs> yes, as you can told her to confirm it. You're like, "Bitch, better confirm the story." And you ever call her? And you ever call her that? And you ever call her a, the B word again, Mackie? No, no, no. I was quoting what he said. I didn't say it. He said it. I didn't say it. Damn right. <laughs> so basically, like he's Facetime me on his bed in his underwear. Like, can we, can we, would you like some? 
some wings or or something like you know I just I, I, I like to get some beers and some wings. I just uh, you know I I don't really need to spend no money, bro. His face is getting really red right now. <laughs> and I said, first <laughs> off, you put some damn clothes on if you're gonna Facetime me, because I'm getting tired of looking Jesus on your left shoulder there. So and awesome. dad down the back, right? <laughs> dad <Dad-dad>. dad. <laughs> I heard that shit. I was... <laughs> it said dad dad. I don't give That's a awesome. damn what it thought. Old English. <laughs> hey man, watch your mouth, man. They can't make the. We're on the podcast, man. <laughs> that tattoo artist didn't know the difference between a J and a D. I guess. <laughs> it looks like a D. Now. Anyway, yeah. so we get out there, like I said, and I buy him a few rounds of beers. The next thing you know, hey, 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 girl, Jager Bomb over here, two of them. I'm like, oh, we found some money, did we? We found some money all of a sudden. Hell, you have five more. Let's get them all. Jason, you want one? DK's buying. <laughs> Ain't no hell you. Jason! <laughs> Come here, bro. That's how Mac will do you, but Mac will do you. He'll buy you one every now yeah, and then. He returns the favor, I mean. Dude, that's how it was a few weeks ago, man, when he was downtown. I walked in, and I, I looked at him, and I knew he had a twin brother, and I, like, I didn't want to approach him because like, I, I didn't met, meet Jeff at the time. <laughs> this is your name. Yes, Jeff? Jeff? <laughs> yes. Oh, there you are. Oh, there you are. <laughs> and uh, I found that out like the day before, and I looked over at him, and I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> should, I, should I talk to him? Be like, Maggie. He's like, he turns around. He's like, Jager bombs. <laughs> Doesn't even say hello. He's just like, Jager bombs. <laughs> Sounds right. like, That's right, his hello. Dude, if, you, you know. if, if you insist. <laughs> and meeting them, I didn't know he existed. I didn't know Jeff existed. And I called him everything under the sun at that Wooly Blues were playing the Cornell tournament. I called him everything. everything Tommy, every, George. No, like everything derogatory that you oh, can. No. You know, Tom, not the Tommy and George. I mean, that, that would be two stupid names to have. It would be Tommy and George. <laughs> like, but, like, you know, the real bad words, like, you know, stuff that I can't send this podcast. A word, C word. You know, like prick and fag and stuff like that. You know? so, and I was just saying that. And then uh, he was like, now nah, you're talking about my brother. And I was like, no, nah, I'm talking about you, Jeremy. You know, you blah, blah, blah. And he goes, no. And it keeps going on and on. And, he, and Jeff gets a little more frustrated sometimes with Jeremy. Like, I did the same thing with Jeff at one time. I, was, I went up and I swore it was Jeremy. Like, went up, put my arm around Shots, let's party. I, I, I'm not my brother. That's all I got. What? Well, not, you look like him. <laughs> <laughs> That's like we're probably the first time we met. It was that yeah. was that awkward encounter, and hey, I was man, like, "It's not his fault." No, it's not. They're twins. But yeah. you know, I come in <laughs> six beers loaded, and he's still fatter than I am, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for sure. Still, you got yeah. the looks. Yeah. Not well, you just tattoo. Apple or Dada. <laughs> Dude, you got the nice truck and, and the looks, baby. You're the one that's getting laid tonight. <laughs> You think with all the uh, the carbs and apple juice, I mean, you'd probably get all the. That's why that's uh, the the lack of carbs. I meant to say, because he drinks all the beer and you drink all the apple juice with the nipple. With the nipple, nipple. he finally ripped his hat off and he's like, "Look at this hair! I got highlights." (laughs) I'm not Jeremy. That's what what it was. He he finally ripped his hat off. He's, "I'm not Jeremy." I was like, "Damn, he don't have those Backstreet Boy highlights." (laughs) Jesus Everybody. Christ. What is this? 2001? Stop it, Jeff. Rock your body. I think we need to wrap this up. It's going south. <laughs> going south real quick. <laughs> Mike, plug your uh, social media for us. Yes, sir. Uh, y'all can holler at me at uh, Mike DeMeza. Just Google it. Give yeah. it a straight Google. Or you can go to SoundCloud.com slash Mike DeMeza Live. Facebook.com slash Mike DeMeza Live. Twitter.com yeah. slash Mike DeMez Alive. There you go. Can we can we find you and, on uh, backpage.com or Tinder? I'm only in the uh what's what was that page? What was that? Oh back, man. Backpage. Or- no, no, not not backpage. It's on uh, Craigslist. Uh misconnections. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So you can find me there. Uh that's a new thing for me to do tomorrow, sounds yeah. like. There yeah. you go. Uh what and, else you gonna do on Sunday? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what is you going to? But I, I appreciate y'all boys. Well, yeah, man. You. Fantastic. Good job today. Thadric, where'd they find you at? Uh, yeah, I, Thadric Pre- prefer, on. <laughs> prefer not to tell me about Yeah, I mean Thad yeah. Johnson, Facebook, Thadric on Instagram, Snapchat, and I think Johnson underscore Thad on Twitter. So our Mackies, where can they find you? Everybody follows Jeremy already, but I'm at JMCM129 <laughs> on Twitter and then just Jeff Mackey on Facebook. 
You want some? You want some cussing? Y'all want to see some? Y'all want to see some big f bombs and stuff during baseball season? Your Mackies are your boys. They get pretty fired up. What's good follows? Girls, what, what's your what's your uh, stuff so you can get a bunch of stalkers? Uh, so one of them not don't ha- doesn't have a Twitter. Another one's not paying attention. You can find her at <laughs> at let goose goose hit it. <laughs> <laughs> dot com. <laughs> All right, this podcast is going south. We appreciate everybody that's hung in with us. Good show, everybody. Appreciate y'all coming. Thanks, everybody.